Hello, my friend. Today I am going to take you through an auditory adventure through the history and morphology of Tridacna Gigas, known by most humans as the Giant Clam. You are no longer in a museum, but in the tropical waters of the Solomon Islands, one of the most dangerous habitats for our sessile friend due to the poaching. Right in front of you is a 440-pound, 1.5-meter-long mollusk with brightly colored blue and purple spots covering its otherwise brown and yellow exterior. She is so close to the surface because without a healthy amount of sunlight, the algae, or zoanothea, that she grows herself and depends on for sustenance could not flourish, and she would die. But luckily, poaching these beautiful creatures for their delicious adductor muscle has been illegal since the late 1990s. And thus there is no harm in the Tridacna Gigas soaking in all of the sunlight she desires. Suddenly, you are transported 250 million years in the past to the end Permian extinction, where dangerously high levels of CO2 filled the water, turning the oceans into a toxic pool and killing 95% of the diverse marine life. But you spot a small flat clam on the sea bottom, and he looks familiar. That's because this new friend is a distant ancestor of the big lady you were admiring earlier. Both share a symmetrical shell because they are both bivalves, one of the oldest kinds of clams. The small size of this ancient clam and its high metabolism allowed it to survive through the harsh CO2 emissions, because it didn't require much oxygen. But, more interestingly, his flat shape was able to absorb more nutrients than most other sea creatures, thus letting it survive in an otherwise harsh and unforgiving environment. After millions of years, the small bivalve evolved into Tridacna gigas and came to be known by us humans as the killer clam. Fortunately, their diet consists of the algae that they grow themselves, rather than little children who stray too far away from their parents' reach. The giant clam is easily one of the most elegant and evolutionarily interesting organisms in existence, and we should never take her for granted.